A lot of people might think miso soup is simply miso, tofu, seaweed, but there are a ton of vegetables you can play around with. Here's what we're using today. This is kombu, aka kelp, and it's super important for making the stock. While we cut up our vegetables, let's let our water soak up all its delicious flavors. And I want you to get creative with your ingredients. After about 30 minutes, the kombu should look something like this. We'll turn on the fire and wait for it to simmer. While we wait, let's set up the strainer for later. This is a step you cannot skip. Anyways, right before it reaches a boil, let's remove the kombu completely and add our bonito fish flakes. You really want to only boil them for like 3 minutes and that's it. Now we're going to run it through a strainer and you should get this nice, beautiful golden dashi stock. Dashi is an essential for Japanese food and is found in food beyond just soups. You can buy instant dashi at the store, but of course this method tastes way better. Let's pour it over our vegetables and then cook them for about 15 or so minutes. Be sure to remove the foam as it comes to the surface. And after that, we'll kill the heat and now all that's left to do is mix our miso paste. Making miso soup doesn't have to be a challenge. Just remember to have fun with it. Now that's some good miso soup.